What is up guys? Today I am in Wielichka. It's a small city just near Krakow and it's most of the time underrated. People might know Wielichka from its salt mine that is very famous all around Poland and all around Europe. But you will see, there are some nice things to do here. So the first place we're going to is the famous train station. Wieliczka is very very proud of this train station with these very specific designs I would say on the roof it is actually the first time I'm seeing something like this and I have no idea what it's made of maybe I'll just write something here to explain because right now I don't know but it's definitely beautiful and original you should see it this train station is most of the time very peaceful like there are not a lot of train or a lot of people going there. The trains here go directly to Krakow very fast. And from what I know, it's also quite cheap. There is such a great atmosphere because as you can see, it's just around the nature. It's a very beautiful place actually for a train station. If you want to sleep at a very nice place, very beautiful place, or have a lunch, or dinner, or just an ice cream actually, because they also do ice cream. We have the beautiful Convivia hotel and restaurant. Okay, they didn't pay me to say that, but it just looks too beautiful and too nice. You guys really have to try it. If you have some Money aside, I would say Turówka, hotel and spa. For those of you who already watched my videos, you might know that I'm going to a couple of parks recently and Wieliczka has a very beautiful park. Now it's kind of floated and watery because we had a big storm, but still very beautiful. It allows you to connect with the nature get to a safe and very calm place. So let's see who watched my videos here. What's behind me? It's this Teznia Solankova or something like that. Sorry, my Polish is still not on point at all. So this place is made out of walls of wooden stick with dripping mineral water. It's so fresh and so nice to go there. You will see it's very calm and peaceful. If you're a bit tired, you will get out of there with so much energy. If you want to know more about it, I let you go to my video that is specially talking about this place. So I haven't seen it before but actually there is another huge hotel that looks so beautiful and it's actually the salt mine hotel it's just near to the entrance so before going there let's have a look yes it is 
Beautiful. And just behind me, ladies and gentlemen, is the entrance of the famous salt mine. You can see this tower up here. But if you want me to go there, just leave it in the comments. It will be a whole other video, I think. It's an amazing place, so let me know if you want me to visit this salt mine. Okay, so I'm actually out a bit late. But as you can see, just near the salt mine, you have a couple of souvenir shops. So if you come here and you want to bring something back to your friends or family, or even to yourself, you'll have a lot of choice here. And here is another part of this salt mine. We are quite far away, we are next to this Tejna Solankova and yeah, it's huge. And there you can see another one of those that might be extraction towers, I guess. I don't really know what they're for. I love those. Aren't they so cool? So now I'm at the city center. It's a bit more alive, still not New York, but a bit more alive, trust me. And you will see, there are also nice things to see and to do. Let's go. And here is again another part of the salt mine. And once again, we can find another tower. And I'm now arriving at Renek Gurne. That is kind of the main place in Violichka. So I'm a bit late, so things are kind of closing now. But I guess there is the mayor office. And there are a couple of shops all around. If you want to... Yeah, just go for some shopping or get a coffee or something like that. It's such a beautiful place and... Oh, let's see what's there. So in Vielichka there are a couple of bars but this bar is the most famous of them all it's right in the center and it's such a beautiful place it's called Słodko Czesłono I think and it might mean sweet or salty but I'm not sure you know Polish and all And that's it for today guys. I really hope you liked it and now you know what to do when you come to Vialichka. It's a nice small city. You should take a couple of days and stay here for a while. You will see you will not regret it. If you liked it and if you would like to know more 
about other cities in Poland just let me know in the comments of course you can leave a like and subscribe and thank you so much for everybody who is already following me and supporting me I'm so grateful I didn't take the best beer out there but trust me there they have some good beers see you guys in the next one But you will see, but you will see, there are many things to do here. But you will see, there, but you will see, there are some. <laughs>